Praise the Lord, everyone. We are so glad that we are here at this historic opportunity to introduce a great woman of God, queen and prophetess, Dr. Siobhan Roker, who has started and put forth a vision from God, the Father Almighty, called the Nog Foundation. And we are so blessed that we're here in the Bahamas to be able to discuss this kickoff of God's fantastic end of time move to the new time that he is preparing for the new heaven and earth. And we thank you that we have been blessed to have Dr. Roka here. And it's so, so great that you're here, great woman of God. And please expound on this great vision that God has blessed you with. Well, hallelujah. I'm indeed ecstatic and excited about what God is doing here in the earth. Yes. Amen. For so long, God has been looking for that man, that woman, that womb, that vessel to be available unto him to bring forth a miraculous move, end time move. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And use his kingdom governance mandated directly through the powers of the Holy Spirit to bring relief to his people. Breaking the back of poverty and lack throughout the four corners of the earth. Yes. And Apostle Dave, yes. I'm happy to know that you have joined us here at the at the Nog Foundation in the Bahamas. Oh, Amen. Yeah. And we together with many other saints from across the world has taken a while that we will not stop until the nation at large is touched by the powers of the Almighty God given food from a natural perspective, yes. brought in through a righteous system that will alleviate systems throughout the four corners of the earth, bringing down the strong man, the men of power and authority, and setting God up at the helm, amen, to yes. carry forth uh, the last day word. The Nog Foundation was founded, amen, by myself through and by the Spirit of God and was shared with so many others, including Apostle David. Yes. Just the word alone, Nog, means the name of God Foundation. Yes. When we talk about God coming to the earth or stepping feet or foot into the earth, we speak of a system that came to alleviate to annihilate, to break up anything that stands in authority to the powers of God. Yes. And so the Nog Foundation, God has given us the ability, the agility, the know-how, the sustaining power to stand even when we feel like things may not be going our way. But through the spiritual realm, we know that we are touching and breaking down anything and everything that exists yes. and that would want to stand as a blockage in the way of God's people being set free. Hallelujah. The Nog Foundation is here to assist those far and wide throughout the four corners of the earth to bring uh, strength to yes. the people of God, yes. to break the back of poverty yes. over nations. We're not dealing just with an individual situation, but we're dealing with nations of the world. Uh, for those who would allow God and us to come in, we will break down the doors yes. that stand in the way of us being successful. Amen. Not only by food, but jobs, relief from jobs, and anything that kills, steals, and destroys the people of God's joy. Thank you. Amen? Mm. And so we are reaching churches and ministries throughout the four corners of the earth. We are asking pastors and missionaries and evangelists to come on over yes. in Macedonia and help us get this word out. This is our on-time word. God is doing an old thing with a new situation. Yes. And if you're not a part of it, you will be set aside. You will be left behind. Mm. You will not have a place in this day movement. So we invite you to sit back and hear, thus saith the Lord. Now that we are embarking upon our church's anniversary, 
the very first one, Ordination Consecration Conference in Margate, Florida on the 22nd through the 24th. And a woman is standing at the helm of this whole organization. Mm. Many men, they question the fact of a woman apostle mm. and the call that God has placed upon their life. Brother Dave, yes. I would like for you through and by the word of God mm. to share with those who are listening mm. the reason why today is the day that we are embarking upon such a mission yes. and introducing to the world a system that was already in place but that man denied because of traditional settings. Well, we thank you very much, uh, great woman of God. We want to understand that Jesus had many women around him Amen. working in an apostolic function and that men chose not to call them apostles but they very much were functioning and working as apostles along with our Savior. I also want to show that in Revelations chapter 12, you have the advent of the woman as being pursued by the red dragon, yes. that the water that came out of the red dragon's mouth, it says that the earth swallowed it up, she swallowed it up, and that the woman was saved by God, and she was holding all ministries within herself which was to be birthed oh, that is an apostolic function great woman of god amen because that is not only showing suffering but is showing forth the leadership and forward movement of the advent of christ because an apostle is chosen by christ and the fact that apostle paul showed that because he was chosen because of his walk with christ that was his qualification to be called an apostle amen Praise the Lord. So what we have here is that in Revelations, the Lord is showing that his birthing of the future of ministry is coming forth from a woman. Yes. That does not take away the man's role as a visionary and head of vision. What it says is that the woman, like she holds a child and all men come through the birth canal, even Christ came through the birth canal because in order to be established in this earth, the birthing must come from the woman. Yes. So what we're saying here is not challenging male position in his home, not challenging a man position in his church. What we're dealing with is an actual understanding that there will be birthing into this new advent of ministry happening in the last days. Yes. Praise the Lord. And if you would pick up on how God has proven you, woman of God, in this time, because part of being apostolic is suffering. Yes, it Praise is. There, it's, it's, I mean, magnificent suffering. I know about suffering. I was born into suffering. I came from a poor family. I, I'm the eldest of eight children. And in being the eldest of eight kids, uh, I had to do all the household duties. Not only that, I was called by God from a child. And in the midst of hearing God, I also felt uh, hunger. I felt pain. I felt nakedness. And I went through perils. Uh, even as an adult, most of those things did not stop. Yes. But the joy of the Lord became my strength. Mm. And because I recognize and know God as God, amen, Faith began to display itself in my life. And because of the faith that I now uh, have and that exists with me, it brings peace in the midst of the storm. And even though I may have a smile on my face, even though I may be dressed in the finest apparel, even though I may sing like a hawk uh, or a lark, um, the bottom line is at the end of the day, I go through those different situations and circumstances, but I always count myself, amen, as one who can stand through difficulties and situation. That takes me now to my message that is about to be preached on Sunday the 24th, a pure seed. A pure seed is an individual that God has set aside in the earth. 
being or becoming a PRC does not mean that problems will not follow you. It does not mean that you will have money all the days of your life. It does not mean that things will go your way when you want it to go your way. Being a pure seed means that you do not become contaminated with the pressures of the earth or of this life, but you avail yourself to the Spirit of God in the midst of your circumstances, in the midst of your situation. You believe that God is able to do exceeding, abundant, above and beyond all that you can ever ask think or imagine. And once you would have come to that place, amen, God will be able to use you as the next Esther, as the next David, as the next Daniel, as the next Job, amen. A new testament beyond this testament. Your name will be written in that testament as a pure seed. I want to say, amen? say great woman of God, that Deborah, you, you exemplified exactly what Deborah was dealing with. Deborah was a family woman. You have shown yourself to be with your husband for so many years steady. You have raised so many children. You have not only done that, you have shown yourself not only to be a homemaker and a wife, but also being able to be a woman of God. Amen. All of that in, in the woman's ministry is so important. God holds a woman task as homemaker and also being able to be able to understand covering of her husband and also lead the church. Yes. That's much more complicated, but also makes the woman uniquely able to handle certain situations, which is what we're going through now. She's birthed children, so she understands birthing and ministry, handling and understanding nations because as many queens were also women who handled families. Yes. So all this is in, in, in line with God using all his resources, not just men, but using men and women in their unique understanding. And that I can definitely say, having observed you, the woman of God, and come to your home and observe how your children uh, operate and how you operate with your husband and everything else, that this is definitely operating in your life. And it's such a joy and a blessing to see and understand what God is doing and using the resources of the women of God Amen. in this time at the end yeah. times and what that means and also understanding that God also stated in Genesis that the woman's heel will bruise the head of the serpent. Yes. So we're now understanding that. Thank you. Amen. Well, you know that we are looking forward to an abundance of blessing this weekend, uh, Friday the 22nd in Margate, Florida. And uh, we expect uh, a new era to step in with this change. Amen. And uh, we're looking forward for those of you who are celebrating with us, who wants to become a part of us, you know, to have purity in your heart, to have a spirit of humility so that God can lead and direct you down the right pathways of life to be obedient to the Spirit of God when He speaks to you, to be able to hear, uh, you know, not having your spirit darkened by the situations that are around you, but to be apt to hear the words, the voice of God when He speaks to you. So be strong, be encouraged, and know that God is able to sustain you in the midst of all that you're going through. Know that we here at the Nog Foundation is here for you. Love Life Help and Hope International in Ministries and uh, Outreach Ministries. We are all here to make things better for you. We would love to have you to be a part of us, not only in word, but also in deed. God bless you.